All right, what is up tycoons? What's up traders? Super excited for today's video. Coming at you guys with another viewer request for ticker symbol NXRA. This is the Alliance Block Nexera token. Uh, we're going to start off here on the one hour chart and then progress out and zoom out to the daily chart afterwards. But there's a, some important things that I want to show you guys and go over first. Uh, so make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're going to jump straight into it. Remember, none of this video is financial advice. Rather, I'm just going to go over some of the key levels that I'm watching, any chart patterns, and <clears throat> try to teach you guys about a couple of the different strategies that you guys can learn about to really give yourself an edge in the market. Trading is like going to battle. It's like going to war. You need to have the proper weapons at your disposal and know how to use those weapons so that way you can increase your odds of success. Now, with that being said, the first thing that I want to highlight here. All right, is we had a chart pattern here initially, right? We had this inverse head and shoulders with the left shoulder here. They had a nice head, right shoulder, and we were able to get that pattern to play out fully. Now, on top of this, we also had something known as bullish divergence, which is when the price of the token is making lower lows as we're doing here, right? Clearly, it's in a downtrend at this point in time. But if you look at your RSI, this measures the relative strength of a token at its given prices. And you can see that it was actually making higher lows. So the RSI was going up, making higher lows, while the uh, price of the token was going down, making lower lows. And that was a nice bullish divergence. It's an indicator you could see some bullish activity. And it went ahead and started that rally. And we ended up getting the inverse head and shoulders. And that played out very nicely. Now, <clears throat> another thing you can do to really help identify trend continuation versus trend reversals is going to be to use the FIBs, the Fibonacci levels, right? We have the 38.2, the 50%, and the 61.8% levels. These are the three most common and well-respected retracement levels, and you use these because nothing moves in a straight line up or in a straight line down. Rather, you get a move up retracement, continuation of the trend, or you can get a move down retracement and continuation of that trend. And so in this case, we can see we had the move up, we retraced near our 50% level, and then we continued that trend up higher, right? And you, uh, and you see we did that yet again uh, afterwards, right? So we made a new high, uh, and then we got another healthy retracement, right? So now we have a new swing low connected to a new swing high. We moved up. We pulled back, consolidated a little, and then we made a new high. So that's how you use the FIBs, um, and that's one of the most efficient ways to use them. There are other Fibonacci levels besides the 38.2, 50%, and 61.8. But as I mentioned earlier, these are the three most common and well-respected. So that's why I like to pay attention mostly to uh, just these three. Now, <clears throat> if we zoom out a little bit, okay, uh, and take a look at some of the current price action, we do have a little bit of what seems to be a head and shoulders forming here, all right? So we do need to be a little cautious. And this trend line right here would essentially be the neckline of this head and shoulders. So if this head and shoulders does break, there is a good chance that we could retest some of these previous lows from down to about 0 0.05 up to about 0 0.056. So that's something that I'm gonna be paying close attention to and watching to see whether or not that happens. Now, we do have this overhead supply zone. If we continue bullishness, uh, that's really at about 0.096 all the way up to about 0.105, uh, all right? And this is an area where there's a lot of liquidity for sellers, and there's a supply imbalance of sell orders in here pushing the price down lower. So if we do get some type of rally, we do need to be cautious in those areas. Now, let's zoom out to the daily chart real quick. We've taken a look at the one-hour uh, head and shoulders right here, um, but I want to show you guys all right. Um, if you take a look, we are still in healthy retracement territory for the trend up on the daily chart. Right. So, um, you know, we have this move down here. OK, so we have our initial low. We have our nice high. So we have this very strong move we had to the upside. And now we're retracing. So these are our three major retracement levels on a larger scale to try to continue this uptrend. If we break below these, then that's when most likely we're going to see that head and shoulders play out. Uh, and take us down uh, on the price of NXRA. So our 50% level is one that we're testing right now. We're trading right around it. We're just below it, but it's 0 0.073941. And our 61.8% level is going to be 0 0.0666. Now, the reason um, you know that we're paying attention to these is because not only can you use it to spot trend continuation, you can also use it to spot trend reversals. So if you move up, 
you know, retrace and you start to consolidate through here and break below your 61.8% retracement level, then there's a strong likelihood that you're going to retest some of your previous lows. So we need to pay attention to that. And we looked at the one hour chart. There is a little bit of this head and shoulders right here that we see. All right. But for now, we're still in healthy retracement territory. OK, and we could continue to push up for a wave three because we tend to get uh, three or five wave structures in the market. And if we get a wave three and are able to get above our supply zone here, the bullish price targets are going to be 0 0.118, 0 0.131 and also 0.147. Those are my three overhead bullish price targets. But of course, you know, we still have to break out past this supply zone. Uh, so a lot of work to be done. But currently, this is a good time to display some patience. All right. If we zoom back down to the one hour chart, we want to see, you know, are we going to be able to bounce off of this trend line here? Right. Are we going to be able to hold this trend line here as support um, or are we going to be able to hold our 50 percent retracement level, which is right over here at. Um, let me see what that price was again. Point zero seven three nine four one. OK, you can see on the one hour chart, we're breaking below there. We're approaching this neckline here where we bounced here previously. If we break below this neckline, 0 0.0666 is that line in the sand of major support. If we flip that to support uh, or if we flip that from support to resistance, then most likely we're going to see that head and shoulders play out and it could take us pretty low on NXRA. So um, just be aware, be prepared of that. We're still in healthy retracement territory at the moment. So there is still a chance we could continue to push up higher and that this is just a healthy retracement um, after such a really, you know, nice move to the upside. If we take a look from the lows to the highs, this was a very nice move up about 140 percent. And we've had a significant pullback here already. If you take a look as well, you can see that we're down about 30. Let's just call it 30 percent uh, from our most recent highs. So that's it for today's video. If you want to see your token or crypto in the next video, all you got to do is comment down below and I'll be happy to make a video on it as soon as I can. I do these viewer requests every single week. So smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new.